way in which I developed this course actually started from a lot of research I did into what employers are looking for. So I read employer surveys that have been put out uh, by the American Academy of Colleges and Universities and by other sources. And so, um, you know, when I focus on data scales and I focus on verbal presentation and short written briefings, this is based not just upon my own experience at the State Department, but also what surveys about employer interests and employer needs seem to indicate. The role that I adopted this particular class is really one of a facilitator. So I'm telling my students that, you know, this is your class, this is your canvas, and it's for you to communicate to the rest of the class what you got or didn't get out of a particular information source. Because remember, the goal of all of this is to really have students understand the limitations um, and the strengths of, of a particular information source. And what I tell them right at the beginning of class is that just imagine that I'm your supervisor and I've told you to give me a really quick idea about water pollution levels in Paraguay because I want to know because I'm going there next week and I need to make a presentation. So that's who I am. And you have to convince me why the particular um, information sources that you use to explain water pollution in Paraguay should make sense to me. And I have only 10 minutes to give to you because I have a million other things that I want to do. And so when you speak to me and when you speak to your, um, to your classmates, you are thinking about how you can communicate what you have learned in a way that I, as well as um, the other people in the room, can absorb very, very quickly. Um, and the way in which I grade them or measure them is in their ability to communicate clearly and concisely and effectively. So after every presentation, I share my comments in detail with the presenting group, but I also tell the rest of the class that Jane did a really good job because she quickly summarized how water pollution is measured in Paraguay. Or Joe did a, did a very good job in, in doing the research, but he might have benefited from slowing down the cadence of his oral delivery. You know, so, so I'm giving them that feedback as it is happening so that the students themselves who are making the presentation understand what they're doing right and what they could improve on, but also the rest of the class is getting a sense as well. So I'm trying to create a peer-based environment where everyone's participating in giving feedback and receiving feedback. So um, I, I would say more than a traditional class where I'm giving a lecture and they're absorbing information and they're taking notes and they're using that in a final paper or midterm or an exam, this is one where we're working together to collectively improve our skills. And sometimes I'll learn a lot from them. I mean, there's some students that um, have taught me things about certain data sources or, or kinds of data analysis that I wasn't familiar with at all before I heard them speak. <laughs>